Uh, the tax reform debate resumes in the Senate next week. GOP Alaska Senator Lisa Murkowski is backing that Obamacare mandate repeal. Uh, Fast Line CEO Catherine Monson joins us now. Catherine, good to see you. Do you let's start there, shall we? Do you support that uh, repeal of the mandate? Absolutely. Very important that we do that. If we don't get that done, then understand that these pass-through businesses, these uh, small business taxpayers, will be paying that additional Medicare surcharge tax of 0.9 percent. So we need to have parity between small businesses and C-corporations. Uh, okay, so some small business owners are concerned about the new legislation. Uh, there are those that say for those pass-through corporations, basically, you know, you distribute the profits and pay individual tax rates uh, on those, which, of course, are much higher. They say that the proposed bill just doesn't do enough to, to help small businesses, and it's the big corporations, the big giant guys are getting all the breaks. What would you say? I think that's exactly right. 90% mm. of all businesses in the United States are pass-throughs. That means they pay their taxes, as you said, on their personal income tax returns. Those mm. are S-corporations, sole proprietorships, LLCs, partnerships. 90% of those companies are going to pay higher taxes than the big corporations that are C-corps. Now, let me tell you, my company, Fast Signs International, we're a C-corp. We're going to benefit from that 20%, but my 600 franchisees, throughout the United States are going to pay higher taxes, higher income taxes than I am. It's just not fair. Another unfair part about the bill is state and local taxes. Mm. C-corps like myself, we get to deduct them before we get to our taxable income, but those pass-through entities are not going to be able to. So what we want is fairness. What I want is fairness and parity, a level playing field for those 90% of American businesses that are pass-through entities, those small businesses and the C-corporations. and. The current bill in the Senate, and I'm even going to tell you, the current bill that's passed the House, they mm. don't give us that parity, and that's important to the small business community. It's small businesses employ 50% of all private sector employees. They create two-thirds of all new jobs. That's where all the mm. engine of economic growth and innovation comes from. We can't hamstring them and treat them unfairly and discriminate against them, which both plans currently do. I think... We ought to tax C corporations and pass through entities at the very same rate, even mm -hmm. if both were at 25 percent. That'd be an improvement, a vast improvement over where we are today. That said, uh, Catherine, are you confident that they'll get something done before the end of the year? And if it goes through, it'll be pretty much in its current form. The Senate and the House can kind of come together and put through something that's pretty similar, you know, pretty close to what it is now. Would you be happy with that you know, or would you rather them wait and, and get it right? I would rather have it done right than rushed. I mm. think we need to treat all businesses fairly, and I don't think this rushing it through to get it done before Christmas is going to end up the way, that, the way it is. You know, with reconciliation, they've got some tricky math that they've got to do to make the, it work with 51 votes. And if they're going to keep the C corporation, the big corporate uh, tax rate at 20 percent, they're not going to get there by, they're not going to be able to treat small businesses fairly if they're going to be stuck on that 20 percent. Let's go with 23 or 24 or 25 percent for all businesses. That would be fair. Parity, level playing field. Well, hopefully they get your message. Catherine Monson, thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it.